Hey guys, well in today's video we're going to be making the bearing covers for the Precision Matthews. We'll be doing these on the G0602. Um, I just recently converted it over to full CNC so now I can use constant surface speed and this should eventually, once I get it figured out, lead me to a better finish. Let's quickly go over the cam operations. I'm going to pre-bore the center hole here a half inch before I get started. And the stock thickness is going to be the thickness of two of these. I'm going to turn this side and then flip it around and do it again. And then I'll come back and I'm going to split it and then face the front side here. So the first operation is just to face the material. Then we're going to come back and do the profile. We're then going to finish the center hole to the correct thickness. And then I'm going to partially part the piece and then I'll finish it up uh, with a bandsaw and come back and face this off in the third operation. Like so. Uh, the reason being is my parting tool will not get this full thickness so I'm just going in partially and then that gives me a nice little uh, place to bandsaw it out. Alright. We're then I'm going to go over to, to the Precision Matthews and we're going to uh, bore the covers and also for the y-axis we're going to take and trim the ends off here like so. Alright, well, so let's go out to the G0602 and we'll turn these parts and then we'll go to the Precision Matthews and we'll finish them up. Okay, I changed the little G-code around a little bit and I'm not going to do the hole until after I finish the facing and the profile and it's just one less time I gotta change the tool. Alright, so let's try it now.
All right. Turning out pretty good. Well, let's try for a part. Having trouble parting there. Uh, I've got the G0602 on high speed, so still trying to figure out my feeds and speeds. Um, parting, I didn't want to, I, I knew I couldn't part all the way through because my tool's not long enough. I just wanted to go down and get me a, a groove started so I can finish it up with a bandsaw and then I'll come back and I'm going to face the edges. So, other than that, finish is real nice. Pretty happy with that. So let's get them faced and finished up. You can see that the constant surface speed, how the speed increases as the tool goes in towards the center because the center is turning at a faster, uh, there's more sur less surface as you go in so it needs to turn faster. I guess that's how the best way to explain it.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Stop by and visit the website. If you're interested in the schematics and drawings or plans for the G0602, uh, they're available on the website. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe and most importantly, be safe.